Hi, welcome to Word Time with Miss Markey. I'm Miss Markey and I'm so glad you're here. Today we have another letter sound to talk about and now we're doing two letters together that make a sound. Can you guess what the sound is? Since I have a train here, what sound does a train make? Let's see. It makes the choo-choo sound. So our letters today are CH that make that ch, ch, like a train going on the tracks. You can even pretend to be a train when you're making the sound. We can get up, get your wheels going, ch, 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 and then keep going faster, ch, 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 and then do your train whistle and noises, choo, choo, chugga, 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 choo, choo. You give it a try. I brought some pictures of trains and a little activity that we can do with the trains where we make a pattern. So we can see in the pictures that the train cars have different colors and make a pattern. On the top, it goes, the engine is blue, and then it goes yellow, green, purple, yellow, green. What would come next? Let's check the pattern. Yellow, green, purple, yellow, green, Purple, purple would come next in that pattern. On the bottom train, it goes red, green, red, green, red. What would be next? Red, green, red, green, red, green. And the train on the very bottom doesn't have a repeating pattern, but maybe you can make your own pattern. Maybe it's gonna start over again and be a really long pattern. So I thought we could try to make some patterns too. So I have some cards here that are already rectangle shaped, kind of like those train cars. And you can choose which color you want to start with. So we could start some train cars with purple. And then maybe we want some yellow. Let's do two yellows. And then another purple and another yellow. So let's see what pattern I'm making. Purple, yellow, yellow, purple, yellow. What would come next? You can check the pattern. And when you're saying a pattern, it kind of turns into like a chant that you're saying or like a little song. Purple, yellow, yellow, purple, yellow, yellow. So yellow would come next in this pattern. Slide this one, we can try another one. Let's choose some different colors. Let's start with blue this time. Maybe we can go blue, pink, green, and blue, pink. So what would come next? We have blue, pink, green, blue, pink, yeah, it has to match the first part that we have. So if we have blue, pink, green, and we start the pattern over again, blue, pink, to match, we need a green. Here's our pattern, blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green. Let's try one more. Let's see, what colors haven't we ch chosen yet? We haven't done any white, so we can do some white. Yellow. White. Pink, ooh, this one might be a little tricky, let's see. We do white, yellow, white, pink white, yellow, move this train over, white, yellow, white, pink, white, yellow, white, what would come next? Let's check our pattern. White, yellow, white, pink, white, yellow, white, 
purple, pink. That comes next. Wow, that one was a long pattern. And if we want to make our patterns look more like some trains, we can add some circles to our rectangles, like some wheels. Maybe we could even have the wheels have a pattern. Let's see, could we do two green wheels and two pink wheels? Two green wheels and two pink wheels. Nice. So you can try this at home. You can use paper or any objects that you have to lay out a pattern like this. You could try to make a train or you can also do this when you're making like bracelets or just even coloring a picture with patterns. There's lots of different fun activities you can do with patterns. Okay. The book I brought today is Meow and the Little Chairs. It is by Sebastian Braun. Meow and the Little Chairs. So first we're gonna meet everyone, all the characters that are in this book. So this is Meow. Meow is a black cat. Hello, Meow. These are Meow's friends. Ba, Moo, Quack, Woof. They have come over to play. Can you see what, an what kinds of animals they are? A sheep, a cow, a duck, and a dog. All right, so we're gonna skip a little bit to see what they are doing. Oh, Meow and his friends put their chairs in a line. So Duck has a red chair, or Quack has a red chair, Wolf has a blue chair, Ba has a green chair, and Meow has an orange chair. Moo has a yellow whistle. Hmm. What are they doing with those chairs? Oh, Meow looks in his yellow bag. What have you found, Meow? Ding, ding, ding! Meow has a bell. They all sit on their little chairs. What can they be doing? Hmm, do you have any ideas? What are they doing with their chairs all in a line with a bell and a whistle? Ding, ding, choo, choo. Meow has made his very own train. Oh, they are pretending to be on a train. Clever Meow. That's the end. They used all their chairs, lined them up, pretended they were in a train, on a train track. If you want to find this book and others like it, you can find them at the Springfield Town Library or your local library. In our book that we just read, Meow and his friends pretended to be in a train. So we can do some pretend play with trains too. If you have a train set like this one, you can pretend to be the conductor of the train and drive it around the tracks. Some other fun ways that you can pretend with trains is to go outside and use some chalk. Here's some kids that use chalk on the ground. This boy drew train tracks on the ground and now he's driving his toy trains on the track. This boy looks like he colored a big train engine and now he's pretending to be the conductor of the train. If you have chalk like this at home, you can do some other fun things too. One of my favorite things to do with chalk is to make a hopscotch pattern like this one that has the numbers and then you hop on it like we can see in the picture. You can hop on the numbers. A lot of times you try to toss a rock and see what number to hop to. You could also color in the squares with different shapes or letters instead of numbers if you want. As the weather gets nicer outside, we can do our chalk outside on the sidewalk. 
And we can also play games with our families outside. Like this family is playing catch with a ball. You could also play games like tag or chase and see what other fun games. Maybe you can even make up a fun game with your family. friend phoneme the feline hi phoneme let's tell phoneme what our sound was for today let's do it together ch, ch. yeah we talked a lot about trains today phoneme because trains make that sound when they're going on the tracks they go ch, ch, and then their whistles might go choo choo yeah we also talked about some fun activities we can do with chalk uh, we can draw on chalk outside. Yeah, yeah, we have a big thing of chalk right here. No, phoneme, don't chew on the chalk. We draw with the chalk, we don't chew on it. Silly phoneme. So you all at home can see what you can find around your house and activities that you can do with that ch, ch sound in the words. Maybe make hopscotch or play catch. And if you need more activity ideas and things going on around town to check out, you can follow Talking is Teaching in Springfield, Vermont on Facebook. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!